Hill was on a date and she was getting busy. She was in the middle of having sex and poked the dude up on some revenge over. But hold on, time out. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Let me go back down memory lane because I absolutely don't know how I kept forgetting to tell y'all this story for like two weeks. Literally, like the day before Valentine's Day, one of my exes was like, can I get your opinion on some dresses? I'm like, yeah, cool. Now, this is why I don't agree with exes to be friends because, bro, my exes are habitual line steppers always know how to draw the line but they do it very res like respectfully it's so it's cool but it teeters the line of like if i had a girl she would lose her mind if she's seen these text messages because why are your ex asking you what dress she should wear on valentine's day and that kind of probably speak i'm like man you're kind of giving simp right now like you helping your ex pick out a dress for valentine's day I make this make sense but anyway cool story we hear we did it is whatever the case may be right so she sent me three dresses i'm looking they low-key fire they got like out of all three of them, two was OD, like super sexual. Yeah, given that, like, if you was on a date with this young lady, you would be like, I can't wait to get her home and beat her about this dress. But I asked her, I'm like, let's be real. Can I ask you a question? How fancy is this restaurant? And then, don't judge me, I asked, how many white people going to be here? Because I don't want to gas my friend up to be the um, super sexual big booty jump and everybody looking at her like oh who who she don't got no home training who who invited her to this restaurant like how she getting here i didn't want her to look like one of those right so i picked out one and then she was like you really is gonna be a bunch of um you know it's, it's a fancy joint it's gonna be a lot of white people there i'm like all right cool we'll go with the other one right and, she, and i'm like yeah because it looked good enough to the point where they're gonna be still looking at you like yeah you one of them things i want i can't wait to get you home she's like that ain't even the best part i need it i need it just to jump to cover up a little bit so i can still wear these vibrating panties i said huh vibrating panties i said when you getting in this trick bag because your damn sure wasn't in this bag with me but cool, whatever the case may be. So she telling me, yeah, I got the panties with the remote on them so, you know, he can go crazy while we had dinner. I'm like, all right, you the goat for that one. Respect. I'm not even, I, I'm, I'm going to let you rock. I'm, I'm going to keep playing along with this story, whatever the case may be. So then she hit me up the day. And I'm like, oh, yeah, what's up? How did the little situation go with Valentine's Day? Oh, nigga, don't talk about that. That's old. I said, oh, bro. I said, it's only 28 days of February. That happened February 14th. It's literally March 14th today. What are you talking about? You know, niggas ain't this and the And I kind of wanted to be like, I'm inside, I'm laughing. Like, but as a friend, I'm like, damn, for real, what, what happened? But that to me is kind of almost want to say like, ladies, you probably should stop going so, and this, this going to sound like I'm, 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 I feel like I'm dirty macking and salt shaking the entire male congregation right now. Cause it's kind of like, how do you wear vibrating panties and it don't work? But this is this is an ex she love to chase the alpha males, quote unquote, whatever that posing means. So she always bump heads because I'm respectfully, she's an alpha woman. She's a career driven woman with a fat ass like a stripper. But like I'm saying, I'm like, so you don't want to talk about it? Look, what happened? Like how you to me that just like I haven't been on that side of the table, like some vibrating panties. I feel like that's some next level freaky diggy shit. So I feel like you supposed to try to like hang it out there, like, bro, you call it quits but of course later on after she tell me the story and kind of break it down it was necessarily not him calling it quits it was kind of them uh i guess uh calling it quits together or her leaning more on the side of like nah i can't deal with this nigga but that kind of just almost made me be like how soon is too soon to pull out your best bag of tricks if it always end the same way because that's kind of like I ain't going to hold you. I'd be sick. Me, if I was, pause, if I was a woman, I would kind of be very disappointed and like, I could have did. I'm sure she had a list of niggas that she could have did the same trick for and at least it would, it would reminisce a little bit longer. But I don't, yeah, that's why I say dating get real tricky. Shout outs to Tinder real quick because I, why we on this dating situation, Tinder is offering uh, exclusive package where they will do background checks for you if you I never been on Tinder so I don't know how it works I'm just telling y'all what I read they're doing uh, you, they can do background checks for you they could sit here and uh, evaluate the person did you find a match and they can let you know if this person has any prior like felonies or any um like I guess rape allegations or anything like that this should raise a red flag where you may want to pump the brakes on this little situation this person did you swipe left or swipe right however that swipe go right but then again I'm still replaying back in my head while I'm talking to y'all right now like damn how much of an open door should be you 
and not necessarily because when I always use the word ex, I mean even like old situations that you really cool with and y'all can kind of vibe out with on the regular, right? I always just wonder like how does that really work because when is enough enough or when to certain doors be closed in those relationships? Because I only can imagine how do you explain if I had a girl, how would I explain that text back and forth? Obviously, you showing that I'm helping her out like for somebody else. This ain't I'm not benefiting off this. Of course, I did get to see the pictures, but this, this, this is a dress that you could try on. Like, I mean, you could post these pictures, try them on Instagram on your IG story, to be honest. Like, it wasn't nothing revealing. And you telling me like you wearing some vibrators, I'm, but I'm still kind of like, if that was my girl and I went through her phone and seen it, it may be different from if my girl read that same message, because if I'm a nigga, I'm kind of, I might be a little bit salty that you asking another nigga what dress you should wear for me. Like, I, I don't know. And I feel like I'm not one of those dudes that's uh, super insecure or I really don't care about a lot of stuff. But that message right there, I don't know how well that would fly. And I honestly wish she would have came. I really was like begging her to just come on today. I need somebody to talk to. Let's, let's talk about some of these conversations. We, I feel like our conversations is always OD fire, but she's really super scared of like, I don't want to be on YouTube and I don't want to do this. I don't want to hit people in the comment sections because I can't help but read them. All right, well, whatever. Long story short, I kind of felt, after I looked at it and evaluated myself, I'm like, kind of give a simp actions, my brother. You really letting somebody violate you and send you a, uh, a pitch and you helping them pick out a dress for somebody else. But anyway, I'm not going to hop on that story too much longer. Let's get let's get right into it. I'm gonna keep asking. Wait a fr no matter of fact, I'm let's, for for all the new YouTube viewers and listeners and people who found this on Apple Podcasts. I we gotta get we're gonna get into these TV shows, especially when they these black TV shows. So can I get into Snowfall first, right? And I'm kind of like, and I I was literally writing down my notes while I'm watching it, y'all. I'm like, should we wonder about Franklin baby mother? But hold on, before the, season, the show even over, I'm like, hold on, Franklin, mom, what you doing? Franklin, mom, slow your roll, Miss Lady. Who is this man you linking up with? And what type of investigation? Because I was almost like, is she working for the feds? But then it was like, no, as the conversation go on, she want them to kill old boy. Uh, what's I can't even remember his name. What's the what's the white boy name? I'm I'm drawing a super blank right now on what his name is. Uh, he want me called Teddy now. So Teddy. But Mom Dukes was like, yeah, I'm tired of you, frankly, keeping me in the in the background. I need to be plugged in. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to be out here. Franklin, like, what? Mom Dukes is really kind of throwing me for a loop, but I'm still not off the baby mother neither. Because the baby mother still kind of, it's like up in the air with me. It's kind of like fishy where it's like, bro, what's up with you? Like, where did you come from? Like this, that little story he gave on the Breakfast Club, I don't, that wasn't enough for me. Like, cause even like for, let's say for all the people who didn't watch his interview on the Breakfast Club and we watching the show, where did he meet this woman at? How is this just such an easy road? And then it's kind of like, um, I respect the aunt. Like the aunt kind of like, nah, we're not about to just bypass, we at the dental, we ain't about to just bypass you, um, not trying to figure out what happened to your dad. Your mom's sitting right here, and she acting real nonchalant about it. Like, what's up? Y'all ain't, y'all not putting two or two together the whole time. Mom just trying to fill out the room, because mom already got her own play that's going on. She about to finesse anyway. And that was kind of like, it, it's it's almost a little hard to be like, huh? 